And for these Kenyans... This is the end of the track season, the beginning of the road season. So timing is everything and peaking, you know, giving your best on it when it counts. So perhaps she's a little bit fresher. She did come second in the World Cross Country in Bathurst earlier this year. So very good racer. And I think I mentioned earlier that Ziggy Gebre Salama was 23 yesterday, still at the early end of her racing career but can she give herself a, a late birthday present here today by making it onto the rostrum Raylin still leading to her credit she's done a lot of the aggressive running over the last 20 minutes or so has this 21 year old little glance over her shoulder there to find out if she's doing any damage but the answer is no not yet not to the other four around her as yet there is the freedom monument glorious structure in the uh, city center uh, it's a monument that uh, respects the, signifies the dead of uh, Latvia in contests or great conflicts gone by. And it also apparently represents freedom. So the athlete Soontin will take a right turn uh, past the old town and then into the Elizabeth Street area, which is famous for its Art Nouveau architecture. About third and 5k coming up with 1614 just there so they've got 1626 1554 and then 1614 these five locked together and 58 minutes on the clock probably less than 10 minutes to go so we are coming to the point where any one of the five who doesn't fancy themselves in a sprint finish when they take that final left hand turn onto the finishing straight which is about 350 meters long is going to have to start making a move i wonder if any of them will run out of uh, patience here and make a break or really turn the notch one final time to try and increase the tempo and rail in here on this slight uphill section leaning into the hill and still working hard is she going to get reward for this front running and see this group reduced from five to four yeah world record pace tim is about 1527 for 5ks they've done 1625 1554 1608 1614 so some way off world record pace and very fairly pedestrian for for this class of athlete so can they shrug off the ethiopian and make it a clean sweep for kenya as they head into the final stages well, I think so often we talk about fast times and records and what they're doing against the clock, but perhaps on occasion, and this might be one of them, we should focus more upon the great racing unfolding before us. Single file now, and Relin clearly is asking questions here. Nobody's up alongside each other looking relaxed now as Catherine Relin, who has a great 10K in her legs from about three weeks back. She has huge confidence from that, surely. Begins to stride out a little bit faster and... Uh, is surely going to get some reward here. Who is going to be the first to drop away? There you can see the changes in position between 5, 10K and 15K. As uh, Relin Amangoli, she's got Relin on her number, but Amangoli on the caption, which is a little confusing, but uh, she is the leader of the Kenyans at the moment from Kim Kemboy and Kim Mice. Kim Mice moved up from eighth up into third place. That was when there was a pack of eight at 10K. Gebre Salama has uh, stayed up there as well. She's the sole Ethiopian representative here, and she moves up alongside Relin. How is she feeling? Remember, it was uh, shared spoils in the five kilometer races earlier. Zedai still in awkward isolation here. Still moving well, mind you. I don't know where the third group is in relation to her. They will occasionally get sight of her, but this is very difficult for her. All she can do is keep working away, keep grinding away, and hope that somebody from that front five comes back to her, gives her a target. She's been on her own for a long time, Tim. Credit to her for, for hanging in there, trying to chase down the lead group. She was back in sixth place uh, at the last checkpoint. That's a pretty big gap, though, isn't it? There is a Relin isolated on her own and up to the leaders. Top right of picture, this great shot from the 
helicopter. Oh, it's probably 150 meters, maybe more, a couple of hundred meters between uh, the uh, chaser. Did I say Relin? I meant uh, Zedai and the rest. I don't think these five are going to come back. But it is still uh, Catherine Mangoli Relin just keeping her nose in front here, almost stubbornly stopping the others getting past her. Gebre Salama looking pretty comfortable, mind you. What about the ultimate racer and the figure of uh, Perez Cierce? She got a change of pace in those legs of hers. She is renowned for a really quick finish. Is Perez Jepchir, the Olympic marathon champion. She's won 11 of her 15 half marathons before today, Perez Jepchir. Very, very consistent racer. And at the age of 30, so much experience. She's got a great racing head on her shoulders. Only those two races so far this year, both very successful. A fine third in London. She ran 218 back in April. And then the whole summer, all she did was train and focus upon this uh, late summer period. She won the Great North Run three weeks back in 66.45 up in the northeast of England, the biggest half marathon in the world, numerically. And then today, and this surely is her big target of the year, the inaugural Women's World Half Marathon Championship. And that is uh, because we've been told there is a disconnect because it's part of this World Road Racing Championship weekend with previous editions of the World Half Marathon Championship. So whoever wins today will set a championship record we have been told a little bit strange one to get your head around but i hope you understand what i'm saying it's now part of this uh, sort of festival of racing spread over just one day this year it was originally set for two days mara just the one day but boy how well it's gone so far yes and of course the mass runners also have been participating in all three events the half marathon mass race and there's also a relay uh, went off at 215 with the elite men so very much trying to inspire the next generation of runners uh, by showcasing the best road runners in the world at elite level. So the athletes now, the female athletes leading the women's race, coming into the final. And here goes Jep Chia Chia. So 20K, 15.48, that split. That's a quick one for the 20K time. And Jep Chia Chia has indeed been keeping her powder dry. And she... Kicks away now. Kip Kemboy, though, matching a stride for stride. Margaret Kip Kemboy, who was fourth in the Budapest 5,000 metres. Now, that is significant. She has got great leg speed. Indeed, in the last four World Championship 5,000 metre finals, she's finished fifth, second, fourth, and fourth. She has a wonderful personal best over 5K of 14.23. Now, in the women's mile, earlier on, we saw Faith Kip Yegon beaten her first defeat of the year. Are we in for another shock here in the half marathon distance? Because Margaret Kip Kemboy looks remarkably composed, doesn't she? She certainly does, Tim, and it looks like it might be a Kenya 1-2-3 at the moment. Gabri Salama just really trying hard to stay with them. Well, Kip Kemboy has tremendous strength and speed. She was second in the Lisbon Half Marathon back in March in 65.50. She's run 8.21 for 3,000. Now, that is leg speed that even Pellas Jep Chirche cannot match. And she's zigzagging across the road here. Maybe worth it to a bit of a breeze here, and that's why she's not wanting to give her compatriot shelter for any longer than she has to. She veered right and then left, and Jep Chirche in second place, followed her stride for stride. Relin back in third place. Relin uh, uh, Amangoli, and you're right, Gebre Salama, trying desperately to get amongst the Kenyans. She would dearly love to stop them having a clean sweep, but she's losing ground. And Jet Chirti was just gesturing behind her. Not sure if she's telling Relin to <laughs> overtake or give her space, but it's at the moment it's a Kenya 1-2-3. Back in 2014 in the World Half Marathon Championships, it was a Kenyan sweep of the medals. Well, they uh, will very soon go under the bridge where the uh, athletes in the earlier race, the 5K, uh, 
came into the finishing straight and they go under the bridge there now. They've got about 350 to go and Kip Kemboy gradually increasing the tempo here. She's winding it up and stretching the Olympic champion and the full marathon Perez Jepchip here, the defending champion in the World Half Marathon Championships. And it's Kip Kemboy who's calling the shots at the moment. Relin, who's done so much of the hard work. Relin Amangole, who has dragged this group clear and may well end up getting her reward with a bronze medal, is trying desperately to go with these leaders pair but as they come towards the line Paris Jepchirchi will not be defeated she doesn't have the track speed of Kip Kenboy but she raises it up another notch a glance over her shoulder and she looks to have got it right yet again the Olympic champion the defending champion retains her title she wins here in Latvia in Riga she is champion once more look at the time 67 26 unofficially for Paris Jet Cheer Cheer, but wow, did she have to work for it. Kip Kemboy takes the silver medal, and it is indeed a one, two, three there with a hard earned bronze medal for Relin uh, Amangole to take third place. That is spectacular. One, two, three for Kenya. And she tried so desperately hard, Gebre Salama, to get amongst them, but she couldn't do that. But she's rewarded with a quick time nonetheless. One, two, three, and five for Kenya as Kimais comes home. Irene Kimais for fifth place. She is just astonishing, Perez Jepchirte. Gets it right again and again. She's now won 12 of her 16 half marathons. What can you do? This woman is almost unbeatable on the roads, it turns out. Zedai, lonely second half of the race for her. She comes home here, does uh, Zedai to finish in sixth place. And Kali Thackeray following her there, 69.01 her best, so she's just about going to be there. Can she get under her PB? So it's been Kenya and Ethiopia all the way so far, but in seventh place, it's going to be Kali Thackeray for Great Britain. Yeah, and I think Kali Thackeray is going to set a personal best here. Brilliant running from the Brit to finish in seventh place. Gets the better of her teammate Sam Harrison, who is back there in eighth or ninth, trying to get stay in the top ten. It's going to be desperately close for the bronze medals because it was at the intermediary points, latter intermediary points. It was Britain in third place behind Kenya and Ethiopia. Of course, Kenya will have won the team race. Uh, Great Britain against Morocco. So the team race is going to be desperately tight here. That could be a very, very significant uh, eighth place there for the Moroccan who's just crossed the line. Ninth place for Sam Harrison. That was Rama Tahiri of Morocco. Personal best for her in 69-19. Sam Harrison 10th, 69-26. It was a personal best for Kali Thackeray, by the way. Brilliant from her 68-56 in uh, seventh place. And Sosibo coming home for 10th place to close out the top 10, the South African, with a personal best for her too by 68-56. 